Hey guys, it's Dirk. In this video, let's talk about how we can create a timer app in iOS. This is how the app will look like. Very simple design UI that works just like when we tap into the play button, it will start a timer. When we pause it, it pause it. When we reset, it will reset the, uh, the timer to zero. Thanks to Alan Huang who designed this UI on GitHub. So I really, really recommend you after this video, check out his 30 days of Swift on GitHub. I think that he got the idea when he go and learn to program in Swift and build iOS at incredible projects there. Some of those are covered here in our channel. Some of those are he learned from somewhere else. Incredible project, check it out. Now, this UI is very simple, but you learn a lot about IB outlet, IB action. Uh, you learn a lot about de dealing with multiple interactions um, about the timer object in iOS. So I already prepared the starter project for you. Click the link somewhere on this page right here, I guess, to download the starter project. Then you will submit your name and email so that I can send you the project and also my new free iOS webinar workshop called how to build a motivational quote app. I will send you by email. So go there, download the start project. Let's go into the demo and we'll show you how to build a timer app. All right, my friend, when you open up the start project, you see the main storyboard and we have the UI is built up like this. And we have some labels, some buttons. So let's connect that to our view controller. I will open up the assistant editor like this one. And on the one side, we have the UI. On the left, the right side, we have the editor, right? So I will control click or right click and drag into the screen here. We have the first one is our time label. So we will show the time that we are counting inside the timer. This one, we have the play button. So let's do that. Play button, connect to that. And we have the pause button. Pause button, like this. And then let's connect. So those are our IB outlet. Let's connect some IB action right here. So I make some space. The first action you want to have is this reset button so let's control drag from this guy to this and then we change the connection into action and we'll call this guy reset button the touch like that and we connect and xcode will create for us a function for the ib action right and then the next one let's have our button the play button another ib action for this guy action the type is play button the touch and yet the last one for our IB action right here, action. And then the pause button, the touch, and we connect. Here we go. Very beautiful, very nicely. Now let's close our main storyboard and then we'll go into the standard editor and we'll go into our view controller. That's Swift. Let's start coding our timer. Number one, we are going to use an object called the time object built in into the iOS SDK, I believe it is UI Kit. I might be wrong, it's, um, but we'll use that guy. So let's have a var over here called Tamer, and the type is Tamer. Now, pay attention that I'm using Swift 3. So if you don't use Swift 3, the latest version of Swift at the time of this screencast, they may change it over here. It can be NS Tamer for the lower version of Swift or in Objective-C, it can be NS Tamer, okay? And then I will have another one called the counter that will count, that will keep track of the time that will show up in the time label, okay? And it is 0.0, .0 so that it can be a double. The next one is, we we'll call it is running is false, so that we can check if the timer is running or not. Sounds good? Okay, now the first step the first right step is when we run the app, we want to make sure that we change the time label in the view did load. So time label dot text is the counter. So I use string interpolation here, just convert the counter into a string. Okay. Oh, yeah, sounds good. Next up, let's implement our play button, the touch. The play button, the touch. So let's do that. Number one, we'll have to check if the timer is running or not. So if the timer is not running, if the timer is not running, then we can play the button. We can play the timer, 
right? So when we do that, then we will create another timer account or we create another instance of the timer. And the method here is timer.scheduled timer and I'll use the last one right here, the last one. So I'm sorry, the first one, it can be the last one because um, this one, I just used it inside the project itself. So you can use the time interval, schedule timer, time interval, target selector, user info, repeat. Usually this is the last option inside the, um, the text generator. So the time interval here, because we want to count out one second at a time. So it will be 0 0.1, the target, let's do self, which is our class. The selector here, let's do pound sign, selector and we want to target the selector called view controller dot we call it update timer this is a method that we will write so let's do a function here count update timer like that and then you'll see that it highlights very nicely like this and then the user info let's put a nil true for the repeat okay so let's implement this update timer and then we'll go back into the play button the touch so what we want to do is this update timer. Well, all we want to do is we want to increment the counter by 0 0.1. So 0 0.1. And then we also want to update the text label. So let's just do that. Time label dot text to be a string. But here I will use a string with the format over here. So the format here is another string and we'll use the string format percentage dot one f it means that you convert this into a one um, decimal point floating point number and the argument is counter sounds good all right next up let's put this um go back into the if we are not running the timer right now and we implement the play button the touch so after that now when we do that when we first create the, another timer over here let's disable our play button because we just press the play button so we can do this play button dot is enabled to be false and the play button right here is our our IB outlet right and then we just disable that and then let's enable our pause button that is enabled to be true right and also when we just loaded the view so when the view just loaded we also need to do that so we will i will paste copy and paste it these two lines of code into the view did load so what happens is when the view just first loaded we will enable the play button so i will make it play button that is enabled true and then pause button is enabled to be false because when we just start the app we don't want to have the pause button played or just like show up right and then we're good to go now after that when we play the button when we tap the play button we also have to make sure that the is running is turned into true so is running is true make sense okay sounds good so now let's run the app and make sure that it works for the play button. And what we expect is when we click the play button, we tap into the play button, the timer itself will run and run and run. And when we click the, the pause button, nothing will change because we haven't implemented it yet. So let's do that. What is this thing? Let's, I will close this guy. And here's my simulator right here. Let's put it on the left side. So here is our app. When we click to the play button, let's click the play button and it runs. The play button is disabled and it runs the counter, right? So you see that it runs the counter and then we do the, um, yeah, when we click the pause button, nothing happened. We click the reset button, nothing happened. So let's implement our pause button. Um, over here, the pause button, the touch. Let's close the app. Pause button, the touch. So here I will just do play button that is enabled will turn back into true because once we pause the timer, we should be able to play it back, right? And then we do pause button that is enabled to be false. Next up, to, in order to stop the timer right now, we'll use a method called timer.invalidate. So this will stop the timer. And then we'll do the is running to be false. 
because we just pause it, right? So now this thing, the timer right here, is the thing that will run it. So that every time it runs, every time it runs, it will update our our timer. It means that it will update the counter by the um, 0 0.1 second, right? So let's run the project and see how it looks like. Now this timer right here is the thing that will keep track and also will trigger will trigger our timer. So I'm sorry, the uh, updates the counter. So place it, pause it. Here we go. Place and pause. You see this very nicely. Now the last feature that we want to do is the reset button. How can we do this one? Let's do the reset button by having our reset button the touch right here. So the reset button. Let's do this guy. Now the reset button is quite simple. Um, I will give you a hint. The hint is we will need to invalid. We will need to stop the timer, like the timer object right here. And I think you know how to do that. The second one, we need to make sure that it stops running. The is running is false. We turn back the counter into zero, and then we update the timer. So can you pause this video and do it on your own, and then come back with me and check with me? Did you pause it? All right, it's my turn now. So I would do the timer that invalidate to stop the timer. And then we do is running to be false because we just stopped running it. We reset it, right? And we do the counter to be zero. And then finally, I would just call the update timer method right here. Um, I, I think I shouldn't call it because it will increment the counter. So over here, I would just do time label text to be our counter string interpolation again and then we will enable our play button play button that is enabled to be true and then we'll do the pause button that is enabled to be false sounds good let's run it once again and see how it looks like so what we expect is well, when we click the reset button everything will become just like the start when the app start like this run it pause run pause reset boom everything comes back into our first start now some of you may want to have this status bar to be light right like a white we don't see the star status bar right now so i will show you how to do that over the here above the view did load method we will override a variable a property of the view controller called preferred status bar style so can we do preferred status bar and then we see that xcode suggests us preferred status bar style press enter and it is a property of the ui view controller class we will override that so we will do it like this and we return that light content dot light content just like that play it once again run the project here we go let's see so it's black now it turns to white and that is my friend your counter right, guys app. that is how you build a timer app i hope that you enjoyed this video training let me know in the comment section what do you think and what you would love to learn what i want to do for you is number one can you do me a favor to subscribe to this channel so that i can continue to deliver for you free tutorial free training on ios development every single week and number two what i want to do for you is to give you my new ios training account how to build a motivational quote app a real real thing that you will love this it will help you a lot it will relate to this training a lot so click the link on this page download the starter download the project i will send you the motivational quote app in the tutorial on how to create the motivational quote app until then go out there every single day of your life learn new things craft your ideas and contribute to the world i see you